Uh, I'm a radiation oncologist here at the Center for Cancer Care and Research, and I specialize in uh, the field of radiation therapy. As you may know, uh, when a person gets a cancer diagnosis, there's basically three uh, ways that uh, this can be treated. Uh, the first way is with surgery. We can physically cut out uh, the tumor. The second way is with chemotherapy. We can give drugs into the body to poison the tumor, so to speak. And the third way of treating cancer is with radiation therapy. We can deliver Ra uh, radiation treatments in order to kill the tumor cells. Most tr cancer treatment is given with some combination of uh, these three modalities, and it's my specialty uh, to deliver radiation treatments uh, for uh, cancer. Radiation treatments can be used to, uh, to treat a variety of cancers, including uh, breast cancer, cervix cancer, prostate cancer, lung cancer, brain cancers, and a variety of other uh, different treatments. Uh, cancer is very, uh, we call it uh, a multimodality type of treatment uh, where, you know, we have the radiation oncologist, the medical oncologist, and the surgeon all working very closely together, communicating with each other to try to determine the best uh, approach to treat any particular type of cancer. In general, radiation therapy is given five days a week, Monday through Friday, for anywhere from three to six weeks sometimes a little shorter, sometimes a little longer. It takes only about 10 minutes a day, and it's, uh, it's generally pretty easy to tolerate, particularly with the new, uh, with the new technologies that we've got available uh, today. Here at the Center for Cancer Care and Research, we've got at our disposal uh, really the latest technologies that are out there, including um, intensity modulated radiation therapy, um, uh, image guidance radiation therapy, high dose rate brachytherapy, all these sort of fancy uh, tools that we can use uh, that are really aimed to target the cancer very precisely while minimizing any treatment to the normal surrounding structures so that we're protecting the normal structures while we treat just the cancer uh, itself. Uh, we're, we're very happy with uh, where we've come in the last uh, decade or more uh, with, uh, with the radiation treatments and we anticipate that in the next uh, decade or so we're going to continue to make uh, great strides uh, in the treatment of cancer. As I was uh, saying before, uh, basically radiation is given on a daily basis. It's fairly quick. It's about 10 minutes a day. And uh, what happens is a patient will lie down flat on, on a table that we call a couch. And there's going to be a large machine there called a linear accelerator that delivers, uh, it's usually photon radiation, into the area of interest. If it's a breast, the linear accelerator will be aimed at the breast. If it's a pancreas, the linear accelerator will be aimed at the pancreas. If it's a bone, maybe the arm bone or the leg bone, the linear accelerator will be aimed at that area um, each day. The treatment is painless. Uh, you don't hear anything. You don't see anything. You don't smell anything. You lie on the table. You receive the treatments. You get up 10 minutes later and, and uh, go on your happy way. Well, what are the side effects of radiation? Well, it depends on where the, uh, the radiation beam is being aimed at. Um, if it's being aimed at, let's say, the middle of the chest, maybe in a lung cancer, well, the swallowing tube is right there, and people can get some changes in the swallowing, maybe a little bit, um, a little bit of a sore throat or a little bit of a lump in the throat when they swallow. If the radiation is directed at the belly um, for maybe a stomach cancer or a pancreas cancer, well, sometimes we can get some, um, a little bit of uh, nausea uh, from, the, from the small intestine and the bowel, just getting a little bit irritated up. However, these days we've got such good um, anti-emetic or anti-nausea uh, treatments, uh, pills um, is usually uh, the forms that it comes in, uh, that the nausea isn't really that big of a problem these days, thankfully. <laughs> Um, so it, most patients also will get some mild amount of fatigue with the radiation. Some people will, you know, notice that they're getting to bed a little bit earlier at night time. Um, other people are catching a cat nap in the middle of their day. But for the most part, people are able to maintain their normal daily functions. You know, whatever you're doing before radiation, you're typically able to do uh, during and after radiation. So the fatigue is not debilitating, but it's something people will notice um, as they go through the course of treatment.